I suppose I've always imagined the ocean to be a kind of wilderness, a place apart. When you grow weary of the van, of the pollution and power plants and plastic bags catching in the tree limbs, there's always the wild, untouched sea. We're sailing through the western edge of the, of the accumulation zone, the North Atlantic. There's no island. When I sail out and you watch the land and it fades away, you get this beautiful moment where you look around. There's no way that stuff's getting out here. A scientist named Marcus Erickson gathered a crew of researchers, activists, artists, and surfers to sail with him through the Bermuda Triangle and see firsthand the smog of the sea. Three, two, one. Black. These plastic items are so small, a lot of animals can't tell the difference. I can barely tell the difference sometimes when we go through our, our samples. Out here, days and days away from land, and it's still here. And this is just the surface. The public sees an island of trash. It's much worse than that. It is this plastic smog of small particles that are being ingested by billions of organisms in the world's oceans. Too bad you can't identify, you know, what products these are. There's no one to blame, you know? There's, there's no culprit. Just humanity. Shadows from the deep. These all came from the stomachs of lace on albatross. Some you can even read the phone numbers. Like right there, you can call the number and tell that guy, say, hey, you dropped something. Hey, buddy, we found your uh, lighter. It was an albatross stomach. Yeah. 